Hey Shuby Doodlers, I was thinking how to draw an ox for Chinese New Year 2021 and trying various things and in the end I've decided maybe I'll just do a kind of a, a designery kind of head. <laughs> just an ox's face. This is the one that I painted in, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it. You're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. So I'm going to start here and sort of draw a box. It's going to be <laughs> the main boxy part. And another little kind of trapezoid kind of shape on the top. And then from just below, we want to draw an ellipse sort of coming out like that and you can play with this but don't press too hard on the pencil because we're going to erase this later if you press too hard you won't get rid of the graphite and then we want to do another one which is going to be coming around to about there and imagine that's coming all the way through so we've got kind of one ellipse inside another and you want to have them fairly equal so that's going to be around there and you can play around with this to get it right. So this is where the eyes are going to be. And then we can kind of bring the nose down to about there. And you're going to want a little curl there. And then we want to have two bits coming out that way. And we want a kind of a an upward curve there like that. And then we're going to have the bottom lip there. And we're going to have the eyes around about like that. Why not join me on Patreon for images, help sheets, advice and a whole lot more. So I'm going to start round about here and I'm just going to come down a little bit there and do the same around here, down a bit and then we'll come here and this will be now curling into the nostril. And that will come out and then it'll curl into the nostril. And you can just shade that in if you want. Maybe add a little thing like that. <laughs> and then we can come around here and a down and around. Put a little mm for the lip. <laughs> and then we can make this a bit of a hairy chin. Now up above here, we're going to go up and down and up and down like that. And then we want to do these horns. So come around like that and follow that there. So we want to come equidistant about. So it's going to be about there. And we want these to be nice and equal. So they look the same on each side. You don't want to have a, a lopsided ox. This is going to be kind of keep walking to the left or to the right, isn't he? Otherwise, oh, that looks a little bit lopsided. It'll do, it'll do. And then on this top line here, what we're going to do is to take that out kind of to the middle in between. And then we'll let that dot away into the distance. Same here. Follow that out so that it comes to the middle of that line and then follow it in like that. Now let's do these eyes. You want them to look a bit moody. <laughs> Serious. It's got a job to do. It's got a pull that yoke and we want these eyeballs to be the same size which is never easy to do and we want the pupils to be the same size put another little circle inside there and then shade around it and that will give you a nice shiny eye you can put some little bit of shading in like that just to make it look a little more dramatic and then we want the eye to come in down there like that and then a bit of shade under the eye we're going to have the nose is going to be about there and we can have some sort of shading underneath there like that too now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines now we can add a bit more sort of shading up the sides there they're just getting smaller and smaller and maybe a bit more underneath there and then these horns they have a kind of a ripple in them so what we want to do is to draw these kind of they're not quite curves but they are just slightly curving 
and as you come around the corner you want them to curve a bit more and you want them to kind of lean over as well and then that will just go to a dot so here we've got one and then these are kind of becoming more curvy and they are now starting to lean over and as you come into it gets narrower here so just to make them smaller and smaller until it goes into a dot and we can kind of add to the curve of this thing by just putting some little dots on the end there so that it's it's not a solid line all the way it just makes it a bit more subtle and that will come around there and we can put those in there so that's sort of leaning down and then they kind of get up more vertical as you come around to the top I always think it's finished at this stage but of course it isn't because we haven't got any ears <laughs> so um, so I'm going to just drop some little lines down there so I know just to go a little bit further and that's going to do kind of a curve like that and a curve up there like that and we can then oh, just bring that up and down and we want a little kind of a lobe at the end of the ear and then that will come up around there bring that up and down a little lobe and bring that up to there and then we can draw flick <laughs> and flick come out flick and flick and then when you flick you if you're lucky with the depends what pen you have then you'll get this nice kind of thin line there and we can then flick in some shadow into the ear as well like that facing the other angle that way erase those pencil lines as well then all you need to do is add a bit of colour and maybe a bit of shadow too. And there you go, how to draw an ox. Thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel. Click that little button down there, ring the bell and you'll know when I post my next video, which will be quite soon. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.